you light the candle, please um, turn off the other lights around you, if you wouldn't mind, as many as you can, nothing, nothing crazy. I also want to let you know before we do the official welcome that we will be reading one poem three times. This is a practice called Lectio Divina, which is Latin, it means divine reading. It is a traditional monastic practice of scriptural reading and meditation intended to promote communion with the divine. Each of the three times we read the poem, How the Light Comes by Jan Richardson, our chosen scripture for this year in typical UU style, you know we'd have a poet, poet for our scripture reading, we ask you to hear the words newly and allow yourself to be changed by them, opened by them, restored by them. Allow each poem read, after each poem reading, we will also have a moment of silence to give you all time to kind of sink into the poem. So now let us begin. Just settle in, turn off your phone, put away your to-do list, quiet your space and your body and your mind. Take a nice deep breath and arrive here in this time where we create holy space together. There is nothing left to do but to be here. This sacred space becomes sacred only because we show up with our hearts and minds in all of our longing and love. Welcome this sacred time balanced between light and darkness, fear and hope, grieving and celebrating. Welcome. And Nigel, that's up to you, my friend. We have a special treat this evening. The choir has been hard at work over the past number of weeks to bring you a musical welcome. This is our version of Solstice Song. Thank you. 
<laughs> mm, thank you for that blessing. Thank you. And Sue? How the Light Comes by Jan Richardson. I cannot tell you how the light comes. What I know is that it is more ancient than imagining, that it travels across an astounding expanse to reach us, that it loves searching out what is hidden, what is lost, what is forgotten or in peril or in pain, that it has a fondness for the body, for finding its way towards flesh, for tracing the edges of form, for shining forth through the eye, the hand, the heart. I cannot tell you how the light comes, but that it does, that it will, that it works its way into the deepest dark that enfolds you, though it may seem long ages in coming or arrive in a shape you did not foresee. And so may we this day turn ourselves toward it. May we lift our faces to let it find us. May we bend our bodies to follow the arc it makes. May we open and open more and open still to the blessed light that comes. Please join me in a moment of silent reflection. So many blessings. My heart is wide open. Thank you so much. And Parker, you are up, my friend. How the Light Comes by Jan Richardson. I cannot tell you how the light comes. What I know is that it is more ancient than imagining, that it travels across an astounding expanse to reach us, that it loves searching out what is hidden, what is lost, what is forgotten, or in peril, or in pain. That it has a fondness for the body, for finding its way towards flesh, for tracing the edges of form, for shining forth through the eye, the hand, the heart. I cannot tell you how the light comes, but that it does, that it will, that it works its way into the deepest dark that enfolds you. Though it may seem long ages in coming, or arrive in a shape you did not foresee. And so, 
we may this day turn ourselves toward it. We may, may we lift our faces to let it find us. May we bend our bodies to follow the arc it makes. May we open and open more and open still to the blessed light that comes. If you'll now please join us for a, another moment of silence. There's a space where angels live, and you have transported us there. <laughs> Thank you. Please join me now for a time of prayer. Take a deep breath into your belly and bones and heart, and abide with me for a moment. Abide with me. 
This evening, this liminal time, we gather, hearts open and heavy, minds present and full, feet planted on the ground and slipping from the clouds. And so we gather. In this time of remembering and hoping, in this time of turning toward and turning away, of retreating and opening toward whatever warmth and beauty that remains, we ask for grace. A grace that wraps its arms around us and protects us from that which we cannot name that wanders in the shadows of our mind. Hold us in mighty arms of love, dark night and brilliant dawn. Hold us while we, we become in this time, in this stormy, stirred up time, in this quiet, lonely time, in this blessed time of breath and life. Hold us. Make our arms stronger. Oxygenate our courage. Remind us that we have just what the world needs from us, just as exactly as it is needed. Encompass us in the grace of this love. Amen. We have a very short call to offering today. Um, Sue will put in the chat the text to give number, the email, uh, the snail mail address and the address of the church's website. And we ask that you be generous so that we can continue together to build this container of holiness that only we can build together. Thank you so much. And I have a short musical selection for you now. This is my arrangement of one of my favorite Christmas carols, Lo, How a Rose Air Blooming.
Thank you, Nigel, for blessing us always, as you do in all your many ways. Thank you, my friend. And Sue will now share with us a responsive reading that we are going to ask you to unmute yourselves for and say the bolded parts of the responsive reading while Sue, Nigel, and I share the unbolded parts of the reading. I will begin. We live in... <laughs> hey, who was that? Good timing. Well, oh, I don't know. Be, it's so funny that we said, um, you know, we're going to create holy space together, and as always, we will leave room in this holy space for our humanity. So that was calling on the phone, our holy humanity. Right, my love, if you could silence your phones, <laughs> and we will begin. We live in many shadows. We are sometimes afraid. In the shadows, we all have sorrows. We have known pain. Each of us carries our special regrets. In our pain, we light a candle. We are sometimes lonely, and the world seems cold and hard. In our loneliness, we light a candle of warmth. In our grad, oh, in our loneliness, we have. Um, we have our joys, our times of happiness. Each of us receives gifts. In, in our, our gratitude, gratitude, we, light 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 light. we have known awe, wonder, mystery, glimmerings of beauty in our imperfect world. In, in our, our wonder, wonder we light 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 light. 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 We bring together many uncertainties, many sorrows, many joys, and much wonder. We bring, we bring together, together many, many, many candles and many, many lights. Yeah. May our separate lights become one flame, that together we may be nourished by its glow. And in our, our wonders, let the rays of many colors fall us to cast upon the world of light, light and flame, light of freedom, and justice, and peace. Thank you. Whoops, what happened? Tail as big 
How much goodness and light you are all bringing to our world tonight. Thank you so much. We are ready now for the lighting of our candles. So if you could all get your candles and um, maybe shut off the lights around you, if you're comfortable, I don't run about for it. And bring back the light. This is our time to participate in the light returning to the world. May it be so. May 2021 fill us with hope and peace and health and togetherness. May it be so, my dear friends. So please, if you can, you can also, I see some of you are holding your lights up, which is just lovely. Fill us all with light. And now... It's the time for the singing of our first hymn. <clears throat> this is number 251, Silent Night. And um, I will invite you, whether you are new here or returning, uh, to imagine yourself surrounded by friends and family, because here at this church, whether you're new or returning, you are friend and you are family. Um, and we will remain muted for the hymn but I like to invite everybody to sing in your own space, however that feels comfortable for you, loud or soft, unison or harmony, and imagine as we sing <clears throat> that we are all breathing in unison and all singing in unison. This was recorded by the choir earlier this week.
the last reading of the poem in our Lectio Divina series, How the Light Comes by Jan Richardson, is done by Nigel and I. I cannot tell you how the light comes. What I know is that it is more ancient than imagining. That it travels across an astounding expanse to reach us. That it loves searching out what is hidden, what is lost, what is forgotten or in peril or in pain. That it has fondness for the body for finding its way toward the flesh, for tracing the edges of form, for shining forth through the eye, the hand, the heart. I cannot tell you how the light comes, but that it does, that it will, that it works its, its way into the deepest dark that unfolds you. Though it may seem long ages in coming, or arrive in a shape you could not foresee, so, may we this day turn ourselves toward it. May we lift our faces to let it find us. May we bend our bodies to follow the arc it makes. May we open and open more and open still to the blessed light that comes. Please join us now for a moment of silence. And for our final hymn, I invite you to bring your lights back up because now, at this moment, we begin to move out of the dark and into the light. Uh, our final hymn is 245, Joy to the World.
Bless you, dear friends. May this mark the return of hope, the return of light in our hearts and in our minds. May we reach deeper for it within ourselves. May we reach out around ourselves. May we touch others with the beauty that is only ours in our own unique and blessed and glorious way. May we touch the world with this uniqueness and may we honor ourselves, honor our beauty, honest, honor the love we have to give. This year would have been so much darker <laughs> without you all in it, dear beautiful people. Bless you this Christmas. Merry Christmas. Please take time now to unmute yourselves and just uh, be together in these last few moments. Hi, Aaron. Thank you, Linda, and Thank your you. team. That oh. music was gorgeous. Wonderful. Thank it you. It was beautiful. Oh, good night. Thank you, Linda. Nigel, you've taken it to a new, a <laughs> new high with all the split screens. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Attack. Beautiful music. All, all, all the music today was uh, was made, made uh, for this moment specifically by these people here, and um, I thank everybody who participated. All of the thank you. It was amazing. That went into it. Everybody did a fantastic really, job. Really wonderful service. Great job. Everybody. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank so, you everybody so Nick, much. Nick, yes. making these Phaedra, it's so nice to hear you. Phaedra. Seriously. You know, Phaedra, that was wonderful. It. Thank you. Phaedra. It's so wonderful to see all of you. It's been such a long time and I was so sad. So and now I get to see all your beautiful faces again. <laughs> 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 Glad to return the favor, my dear. People you. feel a little better. Yeah. Elizabeth Crabtree, thank you for joining us. It's so nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. That was such a treat. Thank you for all the wonderful music, everyone. Can I ask, was this St. Paul? <laughs> 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 Am I in the right place? <laughs> 